Drawn. It's me. Bible mate, Josh Carpenter. Wow. The Bible Girl Cave. It looks like Sandra Kuhlman made an upgrade since last time I was here. Speaking of which, with the help of Miles Pearson and I, we made Bible Girl her first ever Bible Girl The Word of God Sword. I say, surprise for her. And you know how Katie Cypher and I usually come up with our own inventions? For the first time, come up with our own inventions for the first time, Bible Girl invented something. Hard to believe, right? She invented her first computer for her Bible Girl cave. She calls it Phoenix, kind of like Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> oh, hi, Phoenix. Why are you sitting on me? Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, as a compliment. Hmm, okay. And, above all that, my psychic cipher created a brand new device for Bible It's called the Bible. Teleporter. So basically this device, so to speak, you just tap in whatever book from the Bible and that person will teleport from this Bible teleport to the Bible girl cave and into the real world. But if her feeling decides to use it for their own selfish gain, that will not be good. Oh, which reminds me, Bible doesn't know this. Now, Phoenix, eat this as a surprise and tell the special guest comes to help you, Bible and Melody. Okay. I'm not sure if you see it. I'll give you a hint. He did the first circus, and he has a stick like this. Who is it? P.T. Barnum from the greatest showman in the first circus. <laughs> so, Phoenix, calm down. Okay, okay. So, he's going to help Phoenix, Bible Girl, and Melody defeat the enemy with the word of God. And get this. Remember my old sealed that I use to defeat the racket protester all those years ago and by me a light in the darkness episode from 2004 C is gonna be using this sealed to defeat the bad guys. So this is gonna be science. This is gonna be using my shield I've been using since 2004. It's gonna be exciting for her and surprising. But Phoenix, remember, do not tell her about the special guest that's helping her. Okay? Well, I'm going to put this to the Bible teleport device. One, two, three. Yeah, it's gone. What? Oh, you, you heard that. Um, see if you can. Let me try this again. Um, through the teleporter device. Is gone. See, teleport from the upper teleport to my back. Get some exercise. Bible exercise, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, number twelve. Oh, I think that is enough Bible exercise for one day. Okay. 
But Gold and Melody is going to be so surprised when they find out who's going to be helping them. Such a thing you ever want. Such a thing you ever need. Listen to God. He show me what you mean. I see so we see. The Bible Gold Squad is coming back for Bible Regions. Sing your bass. We are making the cure for business. Bring the word of God. Put the armor on every day. Do not be overcome by evil. Cause God has a plan for you. Here comes the show. Hey yo, it is me, the Master of Fitness. I finally returned after all these years. What? Bible Girl has a Bible Girl squad in a Bible Girl cave? That's how my name is Dr. Fitness. Now I'm the Master of Fitness. <laughs> and if I knew the first the cube of fitness. What? Bible Girl has a new computer, Phoenix, a uh, Phoenix, a uh, Arizona. Oh, what Oh, yeah? Well, now it is time to shut you down. Shh. <laughs> now, the Bible Girl Squad will have a computer to use. <laughs> Surprise for the Bible Girl Squad that Bible Man Josh Carpenter forgot to mention. <laughs> I have a partner, the Sultan of Selflessness. You should say that me and him are cousins because we will green. <laughs> ta ta. Bitter Selflessness Bible Girl. Scuddy. <laughs> Bible Man doesn't know that me and the Master of Bitterness are teaming up together. <laughs> Time for me to put my stingy stink selfishness poster cheese right here at the Bible Gold Cave. Never have thought before. P.T. Bonham from the circus is happy. Well, I'll get them too. <laughs> ah. The Battle Gold Squad will never see Kirby. <laughs> what? Looks like someone else is still. Marcus from the Yeti Company's back. I'll get him too. Man, it's been a long time. It's been since 2011 when I was saying that Bible Man the movie, the Master of Capri episode film. Wow, it's been a long time. And I'm back. What? Two villains? The master of business is back and a family I never heard of before. The sultan of success or the sultan of selfishness. But well, this is good. Huh. Oh, nice puzzle. No, I demand I want to donate and I want to have it right now. I'm going to work for the sorting and selfishness success in the massive business. Goodbye. The French rookie. The sorting and selfishness. 
I disguise myself as Marcus Barnes. And acting like I was trapped in these stingy sticker selfishness cheese, including, wait for it, the Cuba bitterness cheese as well. Where's the real Marcus Barnes? We trapped him in our secret hideout. Hey, it is me, this salty enough service place. Time for my poster of the stingy sting sticker of surfaceness right here. <laughs> that way, we pity bottom, the greatest sermon. Comes here, he won't be able to resist my charming poster. Mm-hmm. Things about set a trap for him. I got it. This is a larger version of a stick from his film, The Greatest Sermon. All I have to do is put this right next to the poster and suck. He will get stung, and even he won't resist my evil teachings of trusting God's word. Oh, oh, oh. Need a muscle doctors will get everything done.